Stop right there. How you doing, officer? You the homeowner? Uh, I'm not. I just rent this place. I'm a student at SC. What's going on here? Uh, I'm just having some people over for dinner. Is that a camera? Turn off that camera. Turn off the goddamn camera. <laughs> My name is Bobby Cronfley. I'm one of the founders of Paladar. Paladar is a, an underground restaurant that started at USC. Alex Chang is the other founder of Paladar. There's a persimmon gelé, yuzu caramel, almond crumble. The concept was a three course menu that changed every week for $15. Paladar came from us sitting down in the living room, doing some research. Then we came across Paladar, which is a word that describes a restaurant run out of somebody's home in Cuba. Exactly what we're doing. Hey, Paladar it is. Started as a dinner party. It was really casual. We used to have friends over for dinner and it got to a point where friends would bring other friends and all of a sudden we realized there was 50 people in our apartment. It was getting to the point where we couldn't afford it anymore. So we decided to charge them and that's really how the idea started. So I got the uh, set menu, which is three courses, and uh, we had a salad to start off with with uh, some awesome cheese on it and some uh, things I didn't recognize quite exactly, but it was great. None of these dishes are dishes that I've ever made before. Every time we do one of these, I try to do something new. If you were to put a finger on a theme with Alex's food, he's half Mexican and he's half Chinese. So that automatically goes into his food because that's what he grew up with, that's what's in his blood. There's always like an Asian undertone in his menus. There was one menu we did twice because it was so popular, it was like a Paladar burger, but people loved it so much and everybody was talking about it. And I remember Alex and I were sitting there like, this is a burger, like, you know? This was amazing. Um, it's food being shared by a lot of people that don't know each other, and it's, uh, you know, it's a great, great sort of vibe. It's really yeah. good here. Yeah. Unexpected. Women first, okay? After we graduated, Paladar hopped around LA, and we did it for about a year. And we started getting so busy, that's when we started to say, hey, we just don't have time for this anymore. Especially for Alex. Alex went straight to work for Lazy Ox Canteen, which is in Little Tokyo, um, awesome restaurant. When I graduated, basically channeled all that Paladar energy to my brother's restaurant, Bakro. I bought in right away. Bakro is one of the first places in LA to serve small plates, like tapas style food. And it's a wine bar, so there's all different types of small production wines from all over the world that we offer there. Pick up. We still have the email list, you know, and we do one-off dinners every once in a while. Uh, but that's really the most that we can do at this point. And also with the documentary that was filmed on us, hopefully it'll give Paladar an extra life after we're done with the dinners anyways. I remember I used to think to myself, man, you're, you're, hard, you're putting your heart and soul into this. It'll pay off, it'll pay off again. Just keep doing it. And just not overthinking any anything. Just going for it. So of much. course, thanks for coming. Thank you. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. 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 Nice So after the Paladar dinner, we decided to go out, all of us, the whole crew for a night, and Alex picked all the places to go. <laughs> So we're going to uh, a restaurant called Freddy Smalls. It's like a bar, but they have good food. And you know the chef over there? Or what's the yeah, the, the sous chef over there used to be my old boss at uh, Lazy, Ox? Lazy Ox Canteen. She's a good friend of mine. And what's her name again? Victoria. So I'm gonna make our buffalo deviled eggs, one of our signature dishes. It's a cross between a deviled egg and a buffalo chicken wing. Egg whites and our egg yolk has blue cheese mixed into it. House-made buffalo sauce made with red Fresno pep chilies, 
shallots, garlic, and a little bit of honey and champagne vinegar, and crispy chicken skins. So our next item is our apple cider glazed Brussels sprouts. These Brussels sprouts are deep fried, and they're tossed in a sauce made with apple juice and apple cider vinegar. It is served around a dollar for house smoked goat cheese. Alright, this is the. Uh, this guy's trying to put us to bed. <laughs> pork shoulder? <laughs> the food's really fucking good. Here's two Polydor never dying. Yeah. Continuing to come back somehow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Always a Thank pleasure. Thank you very much. Time. We're supposed to keep going out, but I want to go to bed now. <laughs> you know what will help you? Shot of Fernet. Shot of what? Fernet. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Thank you. We're gonna go to the Redwood. Yeah, it's a bar downtown. Well, we just passed the island, so I think we should have gone there. Fantasy <laughs> World? No, islands. Treasure Island. Island. Like the chain. Oh, Treasure Island? Island? No, no, islands. Oh, we're gonna go to Strip Club. Club. Like islands <laughs> restaurant. <laughs> The interior decor of the Redwood Bar is like absolutely insane. But we still had fun, like we always have fun. Alex is like a regular there and everybody knows him. Now when everyone says that this is kind of a divey bar, but it's a nice divey bar. The idea I think has always been to make it be a little bit mysterious. Uh, hence the lighting is uh, really low key. You ready? dinner, drove to a bar downtown, Redwood, and then the nightcap, the like late night munchies meal, was at Baco at my restaurant. Kevin! We're gonna have a chicken tonkatsu. It's like a Japanese fried cutlet. Kind of like home style meal. When we went to Bakro at the end of the night, Alex and my sous chef at Bakro, Kevin, they cooked just like good late night, I'm drunk and hungry food, you know. Katsu, you know, like uh, the bread and chicken. eat a late night meal at Bakro and like drink and stuff. No, drink some. Why the stem, bro? So like a bunch of people from Lazy Ox came, a bunch of people from Animal came, which was cool, fun.